is about the presentation is about effective software distribution. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to take a look at uh, the fundamentals of effective software distribution and then take a look at what current software distribution systems are doing. From this comparison, we are going to now down on the flaws our current software distribution systems are having. And then from that, discuss what they enable. We'll close out this presentation with the demonstration of um, a remedy for some of the flaws that are outlined in this presentation. All right, so it's not safe. Software distribution systems must first of all verify that the software they are distributing is authentic. This is important because it's only by verification that you can actually assess that the information you are transferring to the end user malicious payloads. Unfortunately, current distribution systems are doing they are regularly delivering software to end users without actually verifying the authenticity of the uh, delivering to the end user. What this does is it's uh, kinds of distribution systems are relying on end users to perform the latest verification on software that they receive. What it takes for such, such a system to fail is for an end user to, for some reason, forget to verify software at their end for the system to fail completely and allow malware infection. There's also a, a subset of end users that are very, very... There's also a subset of end users that are not manageable about current software distribution systems and the processes that they need to go through. And therefore, they believe that whatever software they're getting from distribution systems is implicitly verified, and therefore don't proceed to verify themselves. Very harmful and exploitable behavior by hackers, because all it takes for a hacker to practically propagate malware is to infect the source, knowing that the system that distributes the software isn't going to actually check it. And the end user is even the software who has been uh, given the task of verifying it through delegation is also not going to follow through with it. This behavior has already been exploited. Um, last year, Panic Incorporated was hacked through um, Handbrake, the transcoder. One of their lead developers got infected uh, with, with, the, with a version that actually bundled with a Trojan. What this did was uh, sensitive data was stolen and uh, proprietary information from Panic was, was also stolen. All right, so to solve this problem of um, delicate verification, of which we can clearly see doesn't work, software distribution systems need to go back to the fundamentals. The fundamentals being that software that is being distributed to an end user, first of all, needs to be verified before it's actually delivered to the end user. So here is my uh, architecture of my implementation of such a software distribution system. When an end user requests for software, the request first of all hits a download server. The download server checks against a release repository for the release record for the software being requested for. In this release record, you're going to have um, information that the download server can use to verify that the copy of the software you have is actually authentic and can proceed to deliver it to the end user. Is successful, the end user receives the URL to go ahead and download the software. However, if the check or the, the verification process fails, the user gets a notification saying that the software that is being requested cannot be verified as authentic and therefore, for their protection, the download request is not going to be fulfilled. In this, new, uh, in this new system, uh, I think Politea was, was chosen to be the release record store because it was already designed to be a record store, but only for the decade proposal. Politea also has uh, an identity system that easily allows for software development teams to partially have a, a unique which they can use to publish software. This makes it easy to uh, verify that 
software coming from development teams is indeed what is expected to be. As in, it's very easy to verify that uh, the release records that are published onto Politea is coming from the correct source that uh, is, is being expected from. All right, so here's the structure of uh, a release record. It partly is a file of uh, the release notes and the metadata that the download server needs to first locate the file and also calculate it, uh, what you call it, checksum. So what's going to happen here is this checksum that you see in this structure is the distribution checksum of the software that the download server has. The download server will proceed to calculate the release checksum of the copy of the software it has. Verification process is going to be matching the distribution checksum against the release checksum. And then based on the results of that, the end user request is either fulfilled or uh, denied. Right. So I already put together a reference implementation of such a download server with inbuilt data integrity verification. Uh, you can check it out on my GitHub. And I'd like to close this presentation with a short demonstration of um, the success and failure cases that I've just described. So I already have a Politea running in the background, as well as the download server. Uh, in this case, we're going to take a look at the success case. So running this, it possibly, it possibly just creates uh, an entry into Politea, publishes a record, and then uses the download server to retrieve it. In this case, this is the success case. So as you can see, uh, the payload that was returned to the user has the distribution checksum, which matches the release checksum. The download request is marked as verified, and the download URL is provided for the user to actually retrieve the software that was uh, re requested for in the first place. Now, uh, here's a failure case. It's practically the same process. However, in this, in, this, in, this, in this instance, if you can take a closer look, you can see that the distribution checksum and the release checksums are different. The last digit of the distribution checksum is a one, and the last digit of the release checksum is a zero. This means that they do not match, and therefore, the data that is being requested for cannot be verified as authentic. The user is therefore told that the data integrity check for that particular file, and the download, therefore, has been aborted for the safety. Much, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>